Now, ladies and gentlemen, our second investiture today is Mr. Alan Rue. Alan, son of the late Michel Rue OBE, continues and elevates the Rue cooking dynasty. After an apprenticeship in pastry, Alan spent seven years working hard in some of France's most notable kitchens, joining his father's legendary Thameside restaurant in Bray, Berkshire, the Waterside Inn in 1992. Alan worked through the ranks before becoming joint chef patron with his father in 2000. A couple of years later, Alan took over the leads of the team today. Since 2000, Alan has been a master patissier in the International Association Relais Desserts, ranking him one of only 100 listed best pastry chefs in the world. With its unique heritage offering world-class French cuisine and outstanding hospitality, the Waterside Inn has a global clientele and stellar reputation. Gaining its first Michelin star in 1974, a second followed in 1977, before the ultimate accolade in 1984, when the Waterside Inn was awarded three Michelin stars. Today, under the leadership of Alan, it remains the only restaurant in the world outside France to have retained those coveted stars for 38 years and ranks fifth in terms of world longevity. Thousands of chefs and front of house staff have trained and been inspired by working in the kitchen and dining room. Alan and his family have been huge supporters of the Royal Academy since its inception. And we are honored that Alan has taken on the baton and will continue the Rue legacy within the Academy. Ladies and gentlemen, Alan Rue on Albert and Michel Rue. Hello. You, Alan. Hello, and thank you uh, to our chairman. Hello to our president and to all the members and the team of uh, Royal Academy. It's a, a pleasure. I mean, I was quite happy to be a, only just a member. I think that was quite awesome. Uh, but to have this investiture is a, 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 a privilege. So thank you very much. Very touching. And it's a pleasure for me to, to share my two, uh, well, my, my individual uh, that has is, been influencing my, my career, my life. And uh, unfortunately, um, there are not one, but two people, and it could only be my uncle Albert and uh, my father, Michel, known as uh, not only the, the Rue brothers, but uh, a lot of people knew, knew them as the Rao brother, because uh, as we all know and knew, they always had a go at each other. And uh, it's not the reason why they influenced me, but um, I've been fortunate to know them since uh, I'm born. And um, before I started in the profession, I just could uh, have a, a guess and, and I could try to understand what they were up to and what they were doing in their life, in their career. And really their job, as passionate as we are being a cook, uh, that's what they were all their life. They were cooks, a chef. And it was very inspira inspirational to, to see them and to just to watch them, to be able to watch them and to listen to them. And uh, certainly since uh, I got closer to be able to work with the family, which is uh, about 30 years now, um, I've really realized that uh, they were in fact uh, down to quite a few things in our profession and especially and very gratefully in Great Britain. Uh, not only by being my, my uncle trying and, and managing to help to start uh, the Royal Academy, uh, which was, I think, very important to the profession. Uh, my father, who as well was implemented in, in helping to start uh, the Meilleur Ouvrier de France uh, as in Great Britain, but for the pastry. 
and he helped with that. But mainly where I know they are um, very proud uh, and they were very proud all their life was the Rue Scholarship. They've, I think, achieved uh, one of the top and best uh, competition, cookery competition in the country and most probably uh, around the world. And what it showed me basically is to realize that it's important to climb the ladder. And you can't learn just for a few years. Our, our profession is a learning um, profession. We never stop learning. But whatever we have, whatever we know, I think my uncle and my father always made me understand, and, and I saw that. They, they would share all that, all the time, with anyone with anybody. As soon as they could, they would help. They would be behind you, by your side. And it's true. We all know what, as a chef, it's difficult to work in a restaurant with uh, the workload, the pressure, and the long hours. But they were always there, always there to make you understand that it's there's nothing nicer than to be able to look after guest coming making the effort to come to your restaurant or to the your hotel and to dress up and on top of that praise the service praise the food and of course it's very important to pay the bill and that's that's i think uh, been a great lesson great lesson to be able to live and work for and with such uh, two very special individuals. And uh, I've got many, many memories um, from the, the most simple one, little one. For example, my, my uncle, when, when I, I had one of my first holidays, when I started in the business, I was working in France. I, I came over to see my uncle and spend a, a couple of weeks in the kitchen, kitchen at Le Gavroche. And, and to see my uncle going around each section and running the pass, but at the preparation time, it was incredible. He used to not waste anything in the kitchen. And not only in the kitchen, in the restaurant as well. And it was an eye opener, seeing all the trimmings from the cheese trolley and being able to do the most light and tasty cheese butter to put on a simple bread crouton was like one of the best things I tasted in my life. And it's a lesson. It's a lesson to understand that not only how the cheese has been processed, but nothing should be wasted. And I think we're all learning it and, and the pressure is on us these days that it's important to look at sustainability. So it, it's all little things for me are very important and, and very great and has helped me and it will help me the rest of my life. I know they've themselves, they, they work together and they were inspirational to see that they used to work um, one in the kitchen, one front of house by turn. Every two weeks they used to swap when they opened Le Garoche, their first restaurant in 1967. But they had to. They couldn't be two chefs working in the kitchen. And they were ready to work in a domain which was not that their favorite ones, front of house. But they knew that they had to educate the customer in a nice way, to make sure they knew what to choose from the menu. They knew what they were going to eat. And they knew why vegetable were not too crunchy why blood was running out of red meat and why the fish was still slightly sticking to the bones when it was cooked and why the consomme was not piping hot why it was not bubbling in the soup bowl because we wanted to have a nice clear consomme and they've done that for many years together and it shows that even if you're different, and we are all different, 
you can work together. And they knew it was worth it. They just loved what they were doing. So I, I could go on and I could talk about my two heroes, unfortunately, that have left us not long ago. Uh, but they, yes, basically, they've inspired me. They've made me, definitely, they made me step into the, this lovely career. Uh, so thank you to them. And I'm, I'm, I know they've changed life of many of, of us, uh, even some of you in the Royal Academy. And I think, uh, like all of us, we, we're all very grateful. So I bet... Uh, I had to choose both of them because I don't want them to have a, another row. So <laughs> there you are. Thank you for letting me uh, say a few words and thank you for the, this lovely investiture. Well, what can I say? You can see everybody clapping there, Alan. A real fantastic tribute uh, to the men that meant so much to us within the academy.